אופיר לב שלום. שלום רב. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Actually we are your guests here in Fashion Week Tel Aviv. You are the Israeli industry fashion guests. Yeah. So you managed to do it after all. Yeah, after all, yeah. Difficult. Difficult, yeah. It's a tough market. Uh, but we managed to do it and I'm very satisfied. A few words about uh, those taking part in this uh, important week. It's exciting to do the second edition of Tel Aviv Fashion Week. Uh, it's exciting to see journalists coming over again and again and as well buyers and as well 20 bloggers on their own expense coming from, to... From, from all over the world? From all over the world, coming to Israel uh, to Fashion Week, uh, not related to any political groups or any religious Just talking fashion, which is wonderful. Wonderful. For the second year in, in a row? Second year in a row, and going to be third one next year. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have managed to establish uh, something that will uh, continue. Of course, of course. And it's a wonderful yeah. feeling. Maybe a few words of fear about uh, those, uh, those participating when it comes to the fashion world, the yeah, world of, of fashion. Course. Of course. Uh, as, as you know, we brought Moschino uh, that uh, agreed to, to give us the honor uh, to present him here and to really support the Israeli industry. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It was very important. Every year we're bringing one of them that will say on this local stage, an international stage, yes, I believe in Israeli and Tel Aviv in design. Uh, the Israeli designers this year are very young one and kicking and upcoming as well. Uh, we decided that uh, we need to give a stage to designers. We need to go along with them for the next five to ten years to establish some, let's say, quality control and marketing and uh, production for those designers that they can go to the global world ready. Uh-huh. So, sounds like uh, incu- incubatoring uh, the, next, the next thing in world fashion. It's true, because, you know, it's easier to take a designer that is very talented and go along with him now when he's young and to show him the right way than to take somebody that is established a little bit full, a little bit local and to start to change him will be more difficult so we decided uh, to take those, the young ones and uh, there is no way uh, to interpret uh, your amazing efforts and the efforts of your partners then Uh, your growing faith in the potential of Israeli fashion? The potential is always here. We are a very energetic country. Uh, innovative, of course. You can see it in, our, in agriculture, you can see it in high-tech, you can see it in any technology that have for water, and culture. For military and culture. And there are examples worldwide, like Albert Elbaz from Lanven in uh, France, Uh, Eli Tahari that is very successful in the States, Erona Rad, the industrial design right. in, in London. Yeah. So why, why can't we do it here? Why can't we establish it here and then go ready, prepared and do it outside? Why to start over there, to struggle there? We have everything here uh, to gather all yeah. the government offices to join us. It took us three years. Excellent. The Export Institute is putting a lot of money, the Ministry of Tourism, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is aware about the branding that we do to Israel. Right. We are talking fashion, international language, no politics around, no colors, no uh, religious, nothing, just fashion, funny, lovely, warm, amazing. Wonderful. Sounds so appealing. It is. Ophir, thank you so much. Thank you. See you, you next year. You have just proven that, uh, like your name, you are all heart. תודה רבה, גוד לאק שלום.